at this restaurant in Washington, D.C. If it's beer, it's Meet the Press. Rick Klein, I work for ABC News. CBS Radio in D.C., WNEW. I'm a correspondent for Ale Street News, a, a beer newspaper. Consumers right now are hungry to learn about new beers, and so that's what we're going to be talking to reporters about tonight. This beer and food pairing event will show these guests that beer is the new wine when it comes to fine dining. Beer is not just for barbecues anymore simply because of the fact that a beer can taste like anything. Beer can taste like chocolate. Beer can taste like bacon. Beer can taste like any cuisine that you can throw at it. And what we do here is try to find a beer that makes everyone happy. Local beer distributors across the nation are encouraged to invite reporters and representatives from your community to these beer pairing dinners to help educate everyone on the fact that beer can go with just about anything. Anyone familiar with Brewer Oma Gang? Raise your hand. Okay. The pairings, unique and somewhat unexpected. A 12% uh, beer with a scallop. Uh, that's really strong. Uh, that's not something that I probably would have thought of. How about a short ribs first course with Amigang's Abbey Ale? Or pair your salad with white sage brewed Saison. Cheers! Normally with a tuna steak, I would be having dry white wine. But tonight, I'm having a full body creamy beer. Craft beers are, you know, huge right now. I would highly encourage any beer distributor across the country to get a few people for a small dinner and let them experience the wide choice and variety that is out in the marketplace for beer consumers. You like a beer just to like it. But this kind of an, an event teaches you so much about the flavoring and the, the, the coloring, the smell of beers. I mean, I came here only because I wanted to learn something, and it's just blown my mind. Blowing minds, one beer at a time. In Washington, D.C., Tala Hadavi, NBWA-TV.